Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank the Reynolds Library, especially Gwen and Vincent for their enthusiasm in supporting this project and for giving my footage a permanent home. When I started this project three years ago by converting my collection of 8 and 16 millimeter films to digital files, I had no idea how massive my library had grown through the years. It's kind of like money. When you save a penny here and you save a penny there, it doesn't seem like such a big deal, but when you add it up over time, it can become quite substantial. My obsession with shooting video was fueled by my Uncle Harold's passion with his eight millimeter film camera. He used to come down from St. Louis and visit us frequently at uh, our resort, Black Bear Hill here in the Ozarks, and bring his latest adventures, setting up the projector and screen, loading up an edited seven inch reel of film, exquisitely spliced with titles and little stop motion animations that he would create from scratch. Since there was no sound, he would narrate each 30-minute reel and then catch his breath while rewinding and setting up the next reel. As a kid, I was fascinated by this process, and eventually I bought my own 8mm camera while still in high school, filming the antics of my school chums uh, for future embarrassment. As an adult, my careers in music and broadcasting kept me occupied, mostly in Fort Smith, and so it wasn't until the mid-70s that I returned home to begin operating my own recording studio. In the late 70s, video replaced film, and I was one of the first people to embrace the new medium. It helped that I was the manager of the Hubert's Home Entertainment Center, as we were on the very cutting edge of consumer video technology. My very first video project was in 1979, it was the armchair tour for Blackburn Real Estate. Charlie Blackburn and I did the video ourselves. Um, by today's standards, it was very crude. There was no way to edit it, and the image and sound quality was marginal. Still, it was better than nothing, and I was thrilled to be able to shoot something and watch it immediately after without having to send the film off to be processed. Most of the material in the collection that comes from the early 80s suffer from the shortcomings of early video technology, but by the late 80s I had upgraded the studio to professional broadcast video standards and could at least do some editing and basic post-production techniques enjoyed only by television stations at the time. Therefore, the picture and sound quality in the videos produced after 1987 are greatly improved. In 1993, Three, the studio went completely digital, and I shifted from editing with analog tape machines to nonlinear digital post-production done completely on a computer. I was the first one to embrace uh, this newest technology, uh, which eventually created the entire desktop video revolution that we all enjoy today in our homes. Of course, all my archives were still stored on analog tape, and I spent almost two years converting all those masters to digital form and stored on hard drives. When I reached the end of that job, I began to realize just how large the collection was and was trying to decide what to do with it all. It was about that time that the library was making the transition to this wonderful new facility, and they asked me to produce some videos about it. One day while discussing the grand opening, I mentioned to Gwen about my archives. She and Vincent said they thought the library would be the perfect repository for my collection, and the rest is history. It took an additional year to assimilate and catalog all the digital files into some kind of order that the library could then collate into a database that visitors could easily access. This database will grow as I continue to add more footage as I do not intend to stop archiving. Last week, Vincent wondered aloud how many hours of footage there might be in all of this. I had no idea, but I took the hint yesterday, and I added it all up. The Ketchum Collection, as of today, totals 252 hours, 2 minutes, and 3 seconds. I think we may need another hard drive. Thank you very much, and I hope everyone finds something worthwhile in the collection.